Hello everybody. From 1965 until 1974, Daisy imported a number of air rifles from the Millard Brothers Company, or Milbro, out of Scotland and sold them under their own label. This is the second smallest gun of that series, the Daisy Model 220. The Model 220 was sold from 1965 until 1970. It was replaced by the Model 225 in 1971. The 225 had the same action, the main difference was the solid rifled steel barrel. The Model 220 here was sold in 177 caliber only. The Model 220 is what was called a youth model air gun, which means it's smaller and lighter than your typical full size adult air gun. It is 36 and a quarter inches long with a barrel of 14 and a quarter inches. The length of pull is 13 inches and it weighs 3 pounds and 9 ounces. Here you see the gun is marked as the Daisy Model 220 made for Daisy in Scotland. The rear sight is a narrow V-notch and is adjustable for elevation only. The front sight is a simple beaded post. It helps to have good eyes to use these sights. The stock is made out of beech and it is completely ambidextrous. The forearm has finger grooves typical of many European air guns from the 1960s. The trigger blade is made out of metal. The trigger is two-stage and it breaks at about 3 pounds and 13 ounces. This is not a match trigger by any means, but it is fairly smooth and predictable, and it's easy to get decent accuracy with this trigger. Here we can see the main difference between the Model 220 and the later Model 225. The Model 225 had the usual solid steel barrel mounted in a breech block. The Model 220 uses a rifled brass barrel that is enclosed in a steel tube that you can see inside the folded outer shroud. The Model 220 is surprisingly easy to cock. It only takes about 10 pounds of effort to compress the spring. There is a slight increase up to about 14 pounds at the end of the cocking stroke. The cocking stroke is also extremely smooth. There's no spring noise at all. That's really nice for an inexpensive air gun like this. There is no safety or anti-bear trap mechanism, so you can simply, while you hold the barrel, pull the trigger and decock the gun. Depending on the pellet, the Model 220 makes about 3.3 to 3.8 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Lighter 7-grain pellets will run 470 to 490 feet per second and heavier 8 to 8.5 grain pellets run anywhere from the low 400s to about 450 feet per second. So the 220 is not a long range gun, but then again if you just want to knock over cans in your backyard, you don't need a thousand feet per second. Because of that low power, the 220 is also very quiet when it shoots. In fact, this is the quietest springer that I own. So that's another advantage. You can shoot in the backyard, you won't irritate your neighbors. Here's a quick demonstration of how quiet the Model 220 is. Here's a target with the hobbies. It's five shots, two shots in the upper left hand hole, and you can cover all five shots with a quarter. This is the five shot group with the JSB exacts. One shot a little bit off here, but the other four made one nice hole. And a dime covers up all five shots. The nice thing about the 220 is that they don't command a very high price. You can usually pick these up for less than $100. The parts are still available from Chambers in the UK. I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Daisy Model 220, also known as the Milbro Model G22. It won't win any beauty contests, 
but it is very well made. It'll last for years and years with simple basic maintenance, and it's worth keeping one of these shooting if you have one. Thank you again, and see you next time.